and welcome to a new video. If I have done this correctly, this will be a bonus video for Friday. I'm at Target. I haven't been to Target in at least three months. <laughs> I feel like it's one of the biggest changes post COVID. Prior to COVID, I would come to Target at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. And then when the pandemic started, I realized how much money I started saving by not going to Target every week. <laughs> and so now I could resume the weekly Target trips, but it just feels like it's saving me a lot of money, which I really like. I probably go two or three times throughout the whole like spring, summer, and then probably once in autumn, and then I, I will sometimes go like twice, two or three times in like November, December, like with the holidays approaching. But yeah, I don't come near, I don't visit nearly as often as I do. So it feels like a special thing when I do come to Target. So I figured I would film this as a little bit of a come shopping with me. We'll see what I can find. There's all the like basic stuff that I always get at Target, but then there's also like, it, they definitely should have all of their autumn stuff. I'm pretty sure it's still pretty much all Halloween back in the seasonal section, but I'm hoping there'll be some really fun autumn bits, some fun Halloween stuff, some Halloween candy. I always get a little bit of that to get me through autumn. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of do my autumn target run and see what we can find. So I'm gonna get inside because it's already 94 degrees outside. So it's not good to sit in your car with the windows closed and the AC off. So I'm getting a little bit warm. So let's get inside and see what we can find. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden 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 things Mountain Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow the golden. Golden, golden things. Gold hair. Gold rings, gold leaves, gold anything, gold. I'll follow only gold, golden, golden things. Okay, and I'm back. I'm done. I'm home. That took me 
a little bit longer than I intended it to. I definitely got sidetracked in the clothing section and then still had all the usual sections that I stop and check out and see what's new and then all my regular purchases that I get every time I go. So I'm gonna do this quick because I do have to jump right back out again to go to an appointment. But I wanted to keep this short anyway since it's a bonus video and I don't have time to edit these. So in the clothing section, they've got a ton of really cute stuff for autumn winter. One of the things that definitely helps my bank account <laughs> is that their plus size offerings aren't the greatest. I'm limited to how much clothing I can get at Target. Certainly in the stores, I know they've got more options online, which is lovely, but I like shopping in store, not online all the time. So anyway, but I did find four tops and a pair of socks or a set of socks, three pairs. So the cardigan, this is from the Knox Rose line and which is not their plus size line, but um, it does go up to XXL and this is just a kind of oversized cardigan. I loved the details on the sleeves and the body, the way the knit kind of changes part way down. I just like the really delicate knit style. It's fairly lightweight, which is perfect for Arizona because it doesn't get that cold here. So with a t-shirt underneath, if it's not that cold, with a long sleeve t-shirt underneath, if it's a little bit cooler, with a flannel shirt or a button down, I think this will be nice. It's a nice kind of ivory off-white color and it comes, it is a long line cardigan, so it does come down like halfway down my thigh. Thought this was really nice. So was excited about that. And then I found two sweatshirts and I couldn't, I couldn't decide. So these are from their A New Day line, which is also not their plus size line, but in the XXL, I tried these on in the store. They did fit. They're more fitted. They're not baggy on me, but they're not tight on me either. So they had a really nice fit and I just thought they were super cute. So I got the maroon one which has these clear rhinestones on them they're not sparkling as much in this light but under the store lighting they did sparkle a lot so i think in the fairy lights of my apartment and stuff i think this will be really cute i really like the maroon color i thought this would be really nice during the holidays as like a more casual option because it's it is a sweatshirt the sleeves have the rhinestone detailing on both sides so all the way around the sleeves but they don't have it on the back of the body so we'll see how long these last i'm it says you can tumble dry it i line dry everything so I wouldn't tumble dry these A because I'm worried about the rhinestones eventually coming off and B I'd worry about it shrinking because this is part cotton and I would not want this to be any smaller than it is or then it would be too tight and not comfortable. And then I also got the black which I really like the black because it's black rhinestones so they're a lot more subtle on this. It really is only if the light hits it. Whereas the maroon one, even if the light isn't hitting them, you can still see them, which is fun. I think for Christmas, I think that'll be really nice. Might even wear that for Thanksgiving or over Thanksgiving weekend. But I think the black one is just really, really cool. And just, I like how subtle the black rhinestones are. And they're nice and fleece lined on the inside. So I think for a slightly, slightly prettier, slightly more formal, but still casual feel. Just a little bit festive, but still casual. Really gonna like these this season, I think. And then the last top I got, I was so excited to find this. I love plaid. I love flannel. I don't know if this is actually flannel or it's like brushed cotton, but it feels super soft, super comfy. They did have them in other colors, but the other colors, there was a black with just orange lines in the plaid design and then there was a black fuchsia and like olive green it was kind of pretty but also kind of weird and i didn't really like it I, so i went with this one and it just fits like a dream which is so hard for me with shirts but this is the second style that i've gotten really lucky with with ava and viv it's slightly oversized so I size down in these. It's a similar fit to the plain white and the white with blue stripes that I got during the summer. So I'm just so excited because I think this under the ivory sweater cardigan or under some of my other cardigans 
will be really nice. I think untucked over leggings for a casual look, French tuck into skinny jeans with boots will be a nice look. Can you tell I want it to cool down? Like I am just so ready for sweater weather and flannel weather and boot weather and scarf weather and I've still got like two months to wait for that. Honestly, I'm half afraid it's not actually gonna get that cold this year. This might be the heaviest thing I can wear <laughs> this winter, so we'll see. But I don't really have very many woven button-down shirts because I struggle to find them in a size that fits. So I might go online and see if they have any other colorways other than the ones I saw in store. But yeah, really excited about that. And then the last kind of clothing or wearable item that I found were these socks. I don't need socks, but I really liked these. I liked how kind of autumnal they looked. So there's a printed version, there's a plain gray with a yellow toe, and then there's a like grayish blue and ivory stripe. I like socks. I like cozy socks. These are cotton. Um, they're a cotton blend, but they feel really, really good. So I just think these will be really nice to wear throughout the cooler months. So excited about those. So that's all the clothing. And then speeding through the rest, I did get some candy. So I got some um, candy corn. Use your words, Andrea. Candy corn. <laughs> And then I got a bag of Three Musketeers because these are just so nostalgic to me. I loved Three Musketeers when I was a kid. So there's just something about these that just takes me back to like the mid 90s for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. Then I also got some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Again, like when it comes to Halloween candy, it's just, it's the nostalgic things that I like. So. I'm gonna ration these out. I do not need to eat these all before Halloween. This is gonna last me throughout November <laughs> and into December and all the Christmas candy. But this is the only time of year that I really let myself, or that I really feel or like start craving that kind of candy. Normally I do prefer nicer chocolate throughout the year, but there's just something about Halloween where it just makes me crave the candy of my childhood. Although I also ate really premium chocolate as a child because I lived in Germany. But yeah, there's just something about Halloween that makes me crave things like Three Musketeers and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Snickers and candy corn and all the real kind of basic traditional American candies. The rest of the year, it's all about German and Swiss and Belgian chocolate and stuff like that. And then the last bits are um, some kind of boring bits from the beauty section. I got a small mini bottle of deodorant that I can keep in my travel bag, day bag that I take over to the house. Now that it's slowly starting to cool down, I'm probably gonna start doing some of my daily walks when I'm over at the house and walk around my parents' neighborhood. So I just wanna be able to like come back and get freshened up, take a shower, reapply deodorant, things like that. So I wanted to get a small mini bottle of that. Got some basic cotton rounds because these are the cotton rounds that I tend to get. I have half of a bag left, so I wanted to get a fresh one. Um, I also have run out of um, travel packs of tissues in my handbag. I used the last one on campus yesterday, so I thought I would get another pack of those. So that will last me a while. And then I got my sh favorite shampoo and conditioner. So this is the OGX Anti-Breakage Plus Keratin Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Love this. I repurchase these quite regularly, <laughs> especially now that my hair is getting a lot longer. I did curl it slightly and they have completely dropped. It's too hot outside. It's 98 at the moment going up to 101. So yeah, the curls I slept in did not last, but now that my hair is getting long again, like it's out of frame, it's actually like properly long after I hacked it off, like over a little over a year ago, I think. So when I have long hair, this is the shampoo and conditioner that I really like to use. I tend to use OGX 
all the time. I will use some of their other lines within um, the brand. So I'm currently using their extra moisturizing Moroccan oil in the Lake Turquoise Blue bottles. But these are my favorite. I love the scent of these ones. I love the scent of these ones so much. So I'm happy to have these back. If you have watched my hair routine or hair care routine video, it was one of the early, early videos I put up in the first year I was on YouTube. I used these and pretty much every product empties video I have ever filmed has been, has featured at least a couple bottles of these. I think I've got some empty bottles in a bag of empties. Let me know, would you guys still be interested in a product empties video? It's not really what I do anymore, but maybe that could be another Friday bonus video just filming those because I love filming empty products videos and letting you know which products I actually used up. But I can tell you now, I will use these up because I love them and then I will repurchase them because I love them. So these are firmly cemented into holy grail status for me. I will always repurchase these basically. And yeah, I think that's it for this haul. I'm very excited. I've, I definitely spent more than I anticipated because I found more clothing than I expected. I usually do not find that many things clothing wise that fit, that look cute. I did try everything on over this top. I just found a mirror at the end of one of the rows against the back wall and so there was no one around me. I wasn't in anyone's way so I just tried on a bunch of things. I tried on even more. Um, there was another sweater that I found that I thought was really cute but on me it just didn't really do anything for me. There were a couple things I tried on that just didn't fit at all. So I tried on a lot. Um, I probably tried on about seven or eight things, eight or nine things. So ending up with four, that's 50% success rate. That's really good for me. So I was very, very happy about that. Yeah, I'm excited about the sweatshirts. I think they're gonna be really cute. I'm all about cozy comfort vibes throughout autumn and winter. So I think the rhinestones dress them up just a tiny bit, but they still feel really comfortable and casual. And I think like during the holidays, over Christmas week and the week after Christmas before, before New Year's. I think the black one would be really fun for New Year's Eve. So this makes me feel, I think it's just gonna feel a little bit more dressed up without feeling uncomfortable because it's like a stiffer fabric or something. So I'm very excited about those and I'm super excited about the flannel. I think, well again, I don't, know th I don't think it's technically a flannel, but it's definitely a very soft brushed cotton. And I think I can start wearing this on campus as soon as it drops down into the 80s. Maybe not next week because it's going to be like 86, but if it's a day when it's going to be like 82, I think this is, I think I could survive in this because it is mostly cotton, so it would be pretty breathable. But yeah, oh, I'm so desperate for it to cool down. I'm just so over 100 degrees. I really, really am. The 90s will be good. 80s would be even better. I'm desperate for it to be back in the 60s, but I know I've got to wait until after Thanksgiving probably for that. Um, but hopefully by the beginning of November, it'll be in the 70s, fingers crossed. If you live somewhere with cooler, fall autumnal type temperatures, please just send them to me. Like I would trade you if I could. I know some of you would love the sun and the heat that we're getting and if we could trade weather, I would do that in a heartbeat because this is completely wasted on me. It's just, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And I'm done with this video. So that is everything I bought in my little Target haul. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate both of those things. I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye. Golden.